Hello and welcome to Good Clean Gaming. I'm your host Jalendo, and today we're playing a game called Fortified, which is it's just it's just going to be absolutely awesome. I just started playing this game. I am already getting pretty addicted to it. <laughs> um, it's going to be released on February 3rd, 2016, so you guys will be able to, as of the posting of this video, check it out on Steam and purchase it if you would so choose to do so, etc. Why do I keep saying it like that? Um, the Fortified is an explosive strategy shooter where players will defend the earth against a menacing Martian invasion in the 1950s. Play as one of four pulp-inspired heroes as they fight swarms of terrifying robots with an arsenal of Cold War era weapons and experimental technology. Uh, developed and published by Clapfoot. Anyway, check this game out. You're gonna fall in love with it. Um, we're gonna start. I'm, I'm gonna show. I'm gonna. This this video is gonna double as a tutorial for level one hard mode. And a kind of an intro to how the game plays. So we're going to do both. Um, but if you want to take a look at the characters, here's your four characters. The captain, the rocket scientist, the agent, and the spaceman who I've already put a little bit of time into. So he's level three. These guys level up. They unlock new abilities, new weapons, new structures. And it allows you to beat levels you previously wouldn't be able to beat. So very cool. So we go to play mode. There's solo mode, you can play offline. There's also co-op public mode. There's co-op invite only, so you can have passworded games. And then find a game for an online public multiplayer game. Yeah, it's good. It's very good. So we're going to start with solo mode. And I'm going to play the spaceman because I'm familiar with him enough to know how to, how to explain the game and the hard mode. Um, we're going to be in campaign mode. I'm going to start with the normal mode but I, in the later part of the video i'm going to do the hard mode so if you're interested in how to beat the hard mode for level one um just skip to that part i'll try to put a little time annotation on here so that you guys can just skip to that if that's what you're here for there's also insane mode which i haven't unlocked yet but i'll unlock it later and then i'll do a tutorial for that possibly so here's uh here's real quick campaign normal level one easy street uh we have us and we have a character it's gonna be the spaceman we have the armory then you can look at what i've already unlocked i'm just gonna be using the level one stuff that you unlock you basically start with so if you don't have this other stuff unlocked you can still follow the same strategy um ready So, first things first, we're the spaceman, we're running around. Over here, we have a spaceship. It has a little plus symbol on it. Here's where you heal if you get damaged. Also, if you get damaged, uh, you can heal up just by not getting hit for a while. You'll just naturally regenerate. First thing you need to do when you start a level is press F to choose a loadout. That'll let you choose your weapons. We'll have a freeze weapon here. with. Uh, we're going to do standard, not modify, no modifiers currently because we haven't unlocked any modif modifiers. It shows you at the top what monsters are going to be next. We got these little crawly things and the walking robots after that. And uh, we're going to choose a shotgun. That's going to be our secondary weapon. So you can have two weapons. And then you can have six different structures you can lay out. So I'm going to just choose this one because that's the one that you start with at level one. And that'll allow me to demonstrate kind of the way you're going to want to play at level one. Go back. So the structures basically before the first wave you can start setting up your structures and you can move it around this thing can only be placed on walls so as such i have to find a place where it's blue if it's black like that or if it's black like you know any other kind of color yeah can't place it there so what we're going to do is we're just going to place a line of these there we have a nice flat wall here so we can place 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 you see that red when it, it's overlapping it can't be placed there and you see these little squares show how far it can go so it can basically go to the end if any monsters sneak over this way it won't hit them um so if you want to double up and make sure you hit those you can just you know place some on the other side we've run out of money so we can start the wave i'm going to go ahead and get out my weapon and start the wave for you martian scum. i don't like the shotgun is i feel i feel like the shotgun is kind of underpowered but I'll go ahead and use it for the easy mode because, you know, this this is, or the normal mode, because it's pretty easy on the normal mode for level one. So we just peg these guys. They don't they don't hurt you till they get to you, so uh, these things don't hurt you till you, they get to you, so you can pretty much take them down at range. And your little freezy things 
on the sides keep them from reaching you so you never have to worry about taking damage from them. Now the, the round is over, so we're going to place another one over here. Out of money. So now we can start the wave again. H. The the key A of the button. The, 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 the keyboard key H uh, starts the next keyboard. Not even talking with English anymore. <laughs> the the key H gives you the, uh, the... It lets you start the wave. Man, I'm all over the place today. Reloading. Okay. So you can automatically reload when you run out of bullets, or you can press R and it'll start reloading ahead of schedule. So now the robots in the back, they've spawned. Those will actually start shooting at me. So I have to dodge their, dodge their bullets. So I'm gonna let this one hit me right here. And you see the screen gets a little darker, shows you've been hit. If you get hit too many times without regenerating, you will die. And you'll lose the level. Uh-oh, reloading. <laughs> so those walking robots are really a cue to power up. You know, if you get if you get to the end of that little blue bar at the top left, you can power up and just take people down invincibly. I think I'm starting to enjoy this. Okay, H to start new wave. Let's go ahead and lay out the rest of our traps, structures, whatever you want to call them. Put these now here. That's what I call firepower. Yeah, there's no way they're getting anywhere close to me with all of these. Um, and the only reason I'm building all these, uh, only these structures, is because that's all you'll have at the first, the first playthrough of level one. These are the, these are the, this is the only structure you're gonna have, and so. I figured I'd make it where, you know, you'd understand how to get through this pretty easily. So as soon as we get done with this wave, I think that's the last wave. Yeah, wave three of three, of three at the top right. Kind of shows you the map and shows you where everything's coming from. Now this is just level one, so it's a straight shot, very easy to defend. Later on, levels get more branches and more complicated, more monsters, more waves. It just gets harder and harder, and that's where your co-op fun comes in because you'll be able to group, you'll be able to group with people, and get you know share share some strategies, share some uh, share some synergies with the kind of structures you're building, and be able to be able to get through these together. Uh, so that's normal mode on level uh, one, and we're gonna skip over to. Uh, the hard mode on level one. I'll show you how to get through that. So again with the spaceman. And I'm gonna use level one hard mode. Okay. And campaign mode. And I'm gonna I'm I'm again I'm gonna use mostly the same stuff, but I'll go ahead and I'll I'll try to lay out at least one of these the rest of these if we're winning so that you can see how they work. So here we go. Jumping in. Okay, so we have our one structure we're going to be using. We're going to add a couple more so we can lay those out later. But first, to start off, I'm just going to use the one we start start with so that if that's all you got and you want to get through hard mode, you can use it and you can win. So, scooch over here. Boing. Now boing. That's what I call firepower. Boing. If you put it in the wrong place, you can sell it with the F key. Not enough money. Okay. So, we're going to use the ice ice um rifle thingy I'm ready for you, and the key the key to winning in hard mode pretty easily is that the crawlers are going to get stopped and blown up by these things pretty readily as long as you build enough of them so you can just actually just wait if you wanted to you could just wait for the walking robots i'll just go ahead and do this because it's it'll get rid of these guys pretty quick but if you just aim with your ice gun at the walking robots and peg them from long range there's pretty much no way you'll lose the hard mode on, on level one. I think I'm starting to enjoy this. Okay, let's... And there's no... There's... Uh, on easy mode, you, you have as much time as you want. On hard mode, you only have like 12 seconds. 
to set up your defense before they start coming again. So it, the, each wave comes automatically. So we've got robots, walking robots on this wave. We're going to be aiming higher. We're going to try to avoid hitting the walkers at the on the ground, the drones. And we're going to be aiming for any walking robots at the top. So just ignore these guys. Let them come. Your little devices will blow them up pretty easily. And then here comes the walking robots after these guys spawn. There should be walking robots after them. There they are. Just start pegging them. Pegging them from long range. Don't let them hit you. They do more damage in hard mode. And you can get pretty far away and still hit these guys. Your ice rifle has very long range. So you can stand pretty safely back. Okay, here comes the new wave. Let's go ahead and put down some of these guys, like the uh, that rifle. Let's put down a mine. Some anti-air, even though we have no... That's anti-air. We have no air, so there's no point in me using that. But uh, I just wanted to have it up there so you guys can see it. And let's put the rest of the money in this guy right here. Whoa. Okay. So you see the freezing things on the end will stop the walking robots from getting here too fast and then the turret just starts laying into them with with um, damage so they actually work together really well but really all you need is those freezy things if you just lay those out in straight lines on the walls you will you'll beat this level on hard mode pretty easily Later levels obviously get a lot harder, and the game, the the real fun in this game is going to be the co-op mode. Ta-da! That's hard mode. So at this point, we could jump into a multiplayer game if we want to. However, I, I think this game's already stretching it with one gameplay element and one tutorial guide for hard mode level one. So let's just cut the video here, and hopefully, I'll get to do more of these videos in the future. So that, you know, we can walk through the game together, see the whole campaign, do some multiplayer, all that kind of stuff. So let me know what you guys think. This game is really intriguing to me. It's something that I, I want to have, you know, on my radar and on my game uh, list. And, you know, I just I just think it's great. So I'd love to hear your feedback. Um, again, it's been released. It's It'll be on the Steam store page. Link's in the description. To check it out and purchase it if you want to. And uh, thanks for watching. And... Feel free to click that subscribe button if you're interested in seeing more videos like this. And, that's a run-on sentence. Remember, keep it clean.